Good morning. So, welcome back. Welcome back. I woke up this morning and I had a bunch of stuff sitting right there where I normally have that little mini sofa. Let me flip the camera. And the rule was if I put stuff here on this sofa that was here, that it would have to go. I don't know if y'all remember me saying that a couple of videos back that I have a habit of getting clothes out the, you know, the dryer or towels or something or stuff maybe I have purchased and not putting them away immediately and sitting on this couch. I have never done that ever <laughs> until I put the mini couch there. It has been moved. I'll show you where it's been moved in a minute. All right. <clears throat> the last video that went up, well, the last video is probably going to be a fragrance video, but the one before that, the vlog, right, that went up. It was a lot of missing pieces. I deleted a bunch of stuff on accident, y'all. I'm so sorry. So it kind of didn't flow like it was supposed to, but we're back. It's another vlog. I'm trying to give you an hour-long vlog today, okay? The goal is to, at the beginning of every vlog, maybe for the next couple of months, is to get rid of something, I saw a comment, I'll put it here if I can find it and screenshot it about getting rid of 80% of your stuff and how it just feels better, lighter, blah, blah. And <clears throat> even though I have a lot, a lot is PR, like I told you all, but then I have a lot of stuff I just, I can't actually let go. So I'm taking it in small steps to eventually free myself of things, y'all, things. Like I have two lava lamps. Um, why? I have... Not lava lamps. What's those called? Pink salt lamps. And even though I plug it up every night and it's on. But I'm just trying to keep this minimal as possible. There's just a flower and and like a little thing here. This is for like hot tea, coffee, whatever, right? My lamp. Mirror. Simple. Just simple. Some pillows. Simple. My bedding. Simple. A blanket. We get cold. Simple, right? I'm just trying to keep it more like, instead of saying a minimalist life, just a simple, the things I need, life. If I really want those things and I feel like I deserve those things and I just want to purchase it for myself, anything extra, that's what it is. But for right now, I just want to simplify some things. So I have a box. It's empty. I'm going to the women's shelter this morning. So I have this bag that I've had for years that I got from... TJ Maxx. I've never worn it. Never not once worn it. And I actually have a couple bags like this. So it's so stinking cute for summer. But I'm not going to wear it because anything that's open like this uh, makes me nervous. I have to have a zip on everything I carry. Unless, or at least a middle zip, right? I find myself gravitating towards this one. That I picked up from Crazy Boss. And it's just a bag that sits in my car. So it looks more like a tote bag than a purse. So people don't think they're stealing or robbing me or whatever. And I just keep like my tablet. Some um, extra stuff for after the gym or something like that. Like if I just want to do something after the gym. I need to run. This is like a tote bag I keep. So I'm going to keep this one. And anything else is going to go <laughs> that I'm not using. So here's one. It's a summer bag. And then I have this bag that I got from, I think this is Zara. See, oh no, it's not. This is Shein. It's a cute little white. I never worn it. I have a bunch of cute little white dresses and I've always wanted to have a cute little white bag with it. But there's, it has this button. I'm not going to wear it. Because this right here is going to bother me. The little thing that catches and all that. I'm, I'm So, nope. That's going. I have a bunch of hats that are just too big. Unless I'm wearing a wig, they're too big. But I have several of the same hat. Like three, four, five hats of the same hat. And I never wear this one. This one, I've worn a million times. It can go. All these hats like this. I feel like the brim is too small. So I don't really wear it. I think I wore it to like a funeral or something. I'll put a picture if I can find it. And then all these floppy hats, I don't wear them. I used to wear the floppies. I don't wear them anymore. 
there's probably more in my closet too. So I'm going to toss all these to, I don't know if they want them or not, but they're going to the women's shelter. I do like this being right here. I don't like this floppy part unless it's a summer hat. So instead of keep saying, I'm not going to wear it because, you know, it's floppy. I'm just going to do that. So I do like brim hats like this. That's whatever. And like I said, I have several more. So like this one's more yellowish. I don't know. But I do wear this one. So I keep this one. Um, yeah, I know I have a lot of like hats like this. This hats, has hats. I got rid of pretty much all these. I've never worn this one either. Oh, there's some more up here. Hold on. I forgot about these. I've never worn this one, but I bought this one for to wear like on vacation one day. So I'll keep it. It's still new. I have these. And I think the problem with this one is when I would wear it with a wig, it was too small. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I can keep this one. So it fits my head without a um, wig. So hmm. I think this one's even smaller. Okay. So yeah. I remember these were I don't know if I like this. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Probably because I don't have no makeup on and my hair not combed, but I'm going to leave it to the side for right now. You're probably going to be shocked, but I used to work with this company. If y'all remember, I had this in red, I had this in black, then I had this color. I really like the stylist bag. It's just so, it's actually real Togo leather, so y'all know, but it's so like the Hermes bag that I don't even think to even put it out anymore. And this was the Jacqueline de Sanders bag. Which is the closest dupe, in my opinion, without having a name on the bag, like Air Mask or whatever. Smell of it, the feel of it, everything. The feet at the bottom. Y'all, this bag is so good, but I've only worn this like twice. Only worn this like twice. Never wore the red when I gave it to one of y'all on the other channel, I think. And then the black one, I did that one too. I bought a white one and gave it away as a giveaway. They were like $200 a bag or something like that, if y'all remember. And I don't know. It does have a cover. Let me know what y'all think about this. Um, should I keep it or not? Let me know if, you, if I should keep it or not. So there was another company I worked with years ago. And they sent me these. And girl... First of all, <laughs> these things, yeah, I'm not wearing them. I'm not wearing them. So, I know y'all like the women's shelter, girl. Listen, they have a whole thing, a store they sell stuff. So, they, they can make some money off that if they want. <laughs> um, Love my teddy bag bags. I went through all these clothes with you all. And there's still some stuff I can get rid of. And I'm going to grab like three or four things. I'm going to try to grab at least three shirts and get rid of them. And there are some shoes up here I've never worn. Let me show you. Ugh. They're so sticky cute. Well, I have worn these. I wore this to that 70s party. I'm tripping. I did wear these. I don't know if I would wear They are so... Girl, let me keep this boot. This is so cute to me. Okay. Um, Never wear those Jordans. I'm going to give that to the girls. Well, I'm never going to have those Jordans today. Um... I got rid of so many shoes. Okay, so realistically, I never got rid of this dress because I was going to cut the top and use it for something. And this is uh, like this Shein dress or whatever um, that I ordered that I hated. So, I'm going to get rid of this. All right, I never wear this. <sighs> it's that sweater thing. Like you put something underneath and you wear this like this. I never wear that. I have this dress. Let me show y'all. Okay, so this is... I want to put this on the other day. I was like, oh my God, it's way too big. What is going on? So, come on, man. We're trying to lose weight. We're not trying to gain it. So, toss fat. Get rid of fat. However you want to say it. And, so for this right here. Okay. 
I wore this to a masquerade ball. I guess I could have it taken up, right? If I wanted to, I can have somebody probably just take it up and sew it for me. But it's like this. It's too big. Look, it was too big when I wore it. <laughs> I'll see if I can plug a picture. And it's long. Would I ever wear this again? Will I ever wear this again? It was so expensive. Okay, maybe I have somebody take it up. It does have a zipper in the back. I don't know. And it could just be one of those uh, dresses like for the cruise. Like the captain's dinner dresses. What's this for? This is four items. Okay, so I'll just stop with this. It's just a, um, like a sundress with this tie around the waist situation. So we're going to stop with that. Put this, I have another one like this too. Let me find the other one. I can get rid of the other one too. I'm not going to ever wear it. <laughs> never. I never wear that. Way too big now. You know, it's cute oversized. And then this thing. I don't know why I just didn't return it. I was going to do something with it. But it's too much of a coming to America type of situation. Five, six. All right. Even though I like this skirt, I thought it was cute. You could wear it like short, like uh, like up, like wear it up like this, and then wear it like a short dress. But I'm never wearing it because I've never worn it. But once, so that this is really cute. I think I thrifted this. This is fan face or something like that. It's cute, but I've worn it. But I'm not wearing this. I like one piece. If I'm wearing like a skirt dress, I want it to be a dress. I don't like skirts. I said this before when I cleaned out my closet. I don't wear skirts. And so I don't even know why I kept the few that I kept. But uh, I'm going to get rid of them. I don't wear skirts. This is an all leather situation. I like dresses. And this is this praise dance situation. Yeah. So, alright. Well, that felt great. That feels really good. So, let me box this stuff up. I bought this off Amazon. I love the jumper. I don't like red. So, um, I don't ever wear it. When should I wear the jacket like to the gym sometime? I know I'm not going to wear the pants. So, I would rather give the whole set. It doesn't, does it have a hole? No, it don't have a hole in the hand. Ugh. I don't even wear this. I wore it on a cruise. And I've worn it once since. Does it have pockets? Let me see if it has pockets. Like on the side, like pockets like you have for your tights. No, it doesn't. Okay, so no. I, I don't want it. I like the outfit. I think these are cute. Get these like 40 bucks. They're really nice, heavy, weighted sets. I don't like red on my bottom. I like red accent, but not like lips. I don't really like red clothes. <laughs> um, maybe a cute red dress, but... Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't like red. Last thing I'm gonna get rid of is like this loungewear. I've worn it out and it's I, okay, so I've worn this out. It's been like 40 bucks for this set. I saw it online, I just had to have this set. And it snacks like crazy. It's more like pajamas. It's more like pajamas. So should I just wear this mess as pajamas? Like around the house pajamas. Loungewear because I hate this. Y'all know I, I don't like anything that's printed with white on the inside. It just feels cheap. <clears throat> it's probably something I could have just got off of AliExpress, but I was trying to support this black owned business on Instagram. I won't do that again. Not for that particular company because their stuff is so expensive yet so cheap. And I mean, it literally runs. You can see the white lines in it when it just brush against something. Brush against something and it snags immediately. Like white thread. So tacky. And am I going to wear this around the house as pajamas? I guess so. I do wear pajama sets. Now I do like red pajama sets and red like robes. I don't like wearing red out like in clothes. I don't have anything else red I don't think. Yeah, I don't really wear red. So 
I wanted to clear that up. So that was like a bit too much for me. But I might just fold this up and wear this as pajamas. I can see me wearing this outside. Like, you know, sitting outside, chilling in the back. It, I'll keep it. Okay. Every time I go in there, I find something. I'm not ever wearing these again. These were for a moment. Um, I actually got these from the that shoe store I go to. That's really cheapy shoe store. And these were so thick and comfortable. But I'm not wearing these because... I just don't wear them. Yeah. Um, I got this little situation from Crazy Boss. I like it. It's super short. So it's like more of a top. <clears throat> but it's too wide. So it kind of like don't stay on me right with this little bitty strap. So I'm going to get rid of that. And then this, I've worn this several times on a cruise. Y'all have seen me in this. It's actually kind of large in size now. And this is a cute one shoulder moment. If I could find a picture, I'll plug it in. I'm not wearing that again. Why would I? That's the only red dress I have. Other than that outfit. I'm about to get dressed. But I didn't wear this last fall and winter. It's a short dress. And it has the pockets. I don't know if I'm going to regret tossing this. But I do like a good short dress. It's just that I didn't wear it for the last two fall and winters. I don't want to hold anything i'm not yeah anyway i'm gonna give away the hangers too um i used to use these for drying like my wigs or whatever i would hang the wigs but i only have like three wigs now so i'm not tripping and the kids use the velvet hangers so i know they don't need these so i'm gonna give them the hangers too i have some jewelry in the box um some fragrances in the box that I should probably get rid of some more fragrances, but for right now, I'm going to get rid of those. Although, I love the smell of these, like the Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. Y'all know I do my oils, so that's a lotion. This is Hibiscus Paradise, and this is in the stars. No, I'm not giving this to the girls. They have like 20 a piece. That smells good, but I'm not going to use them. I use them for air freshener, basically. Okay, so I'll keep this one for an air freshener. This smells more like air freshener. This one smells sweeter. I have to put it at the back seat of the toilet or something like that. But this one smells good. And if I have anything else in the box, you'll see it. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in the box. Throw some clothes on it so we can drop this stuff off. <sighs> Maybe I'll wear this bag today and see how I feel about wearing it. You know what it is? It is this gold. I just said that in the store how... I don't like the gold to be like brassy. Like I like it to be like um a little dull. Is it both like bright? Yeah, it's a little bit duller. It's really super shiny. Does it have a plastic on it? Maybe because I don't wear it enough. And so it's kind of maybe if I cover this part, you don't see that super shiny stuff. Hmm. Yeah, maybe if I just do it like this, you don't see how super shiny and I can wear the bag. I'm not going to want to do all this to get my money out. It has a crossbody. Crossbody is way too thin. I'm, I'm not a thin. I, I don't like anything thin like this. Let me see if I have another one. This is so tacky. Um, This is a... This is about to a whole different purse, y'all. Yeah, but, like, could I... You can really tell. I don't know. It's the gold. This is too shiny for me. Oh my goodness, this is way too shiny. Why did I notice that? It don't look like that. Maybe it looks like that just on camera? I don't know. I'll hold on to it. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I one battery. I just had like a watch in my hand. I don't know where I put it. Um, I love these. These are those movement watches. I don't know if y'all have seen them on TikTok or something like that. And, oh, here it is. This is the watch I really want to wear. This looper. This is the watches I used to wear all the time. This style of watch. This and... Let me find them. And, like, oh, I don't have it. I just have the bands. 
I think it's in my car because I need to get a battery. But you can switch out like the bands with the different colors. So I used to like that style of watch. Um, actually, with, <laughs> I got them for everybody. Everybody had that watch. Christopher, Dad. Um, that's crazy. There's so many watches missing. I don't know where I put them. Um, it's got to be another container. This is why I need to get rid of stuff. All right, so I had like 60 lipsticks and I went through and was like, I'm gonna get rid of this container and put only lipsticks I really use or want in a bag. I basically wear, I basically wear the same like lipsticks all the time. So I have pared it down to this bag basically. And there's so many different shades of colors between glosses and reds and uh, nudes and pieces of brown and browns to where I have something. <laughs> I, I have enough. Like, I literally have enough. And I end up wearing the same red anyway, Ruby Woo, or like these uh, MAC, like reds or whatever, the other red that they have. This is that new I was talking about. Let me move y'all so y'all can see. So this is that new. It's called Shoop 27 from that collab with uh, Salt and Pepper. This is that nude I was talking about that I prefer basically over every nude. So what is the purpose of having like, let me show you. Let me take all this out. Like all these other nudes, like all these other nude lipsticks. So I'm going to let the girls go through this and see if they want them. At one point I had three of these. So now I'm down to like, this is what's left. So either they want this stuff. Girl, I don't want that. Never mind. Um, this is a good one too, the Lip Blacker. And this is Wet n Wild. That's a good one too. It just got shine on it. I don't like red to be shiny. I like nude to shine, but not red. And see a lot of this has like a little sheen or sheer to it. I don't like that. This is a little too bright for me. This, well, is this the right one? This is the wrong one. Oh, well, I told them I can have it. This is from Merit Beauty, and this is a highlighter, a creamy one. Uh, well, anyway, I told them I can have it. So, this, they're going to go through here, basically, see who wants this, because I'm not donating that. Um, this is for them. This is a beautiful new like palette from Most Love Max Milani. This one is Bold Obsessions. Bold Obsessions. Try not to blind y'all. Milani. That's pretty. I have like a lot of makeup. I, I don't wear makeup enough to have this much makeup. I know Penny likes coming through here and messing with this that I have. And this is from Becca. And it's a bunch of like, you know, mattes, whatever, plus like some shimmers. It's the only one I ever use, if you see. A waste of money. This one was gifted to us. And this is Opulence. Um, and who was this by? I don't know, child. Anyway, cruelty free, blah, blah, blah. <gasps> I almost dropped it. So here's another beautiful palette. That ain't it. This one I think Lulu sent. This is Berry Cute. B-E-R-R-Y Cute. So, I mean, they can either play in them or not. I really don't care. I probably end up throwing this away. California Love. If they don't want it. I do like this. It's too chunky. But I do like this one. Yeah, oh, it's so buttery soft. This ColourPop, of course. Y'all know like ColourPop. This is Juvia's Place. I just covered a bunch of these. But I know they can use like this bottom row, maybe that one. These may be too dark, but I'll ask them if they, what if they want to keep and whatever they don't want to keep. We could toss. I had a, another backup of this. 
what is this? Uh, Born This Way. It is multi-use sculpting concealer. How bright is this? Is it my color now? Yeah, I don't know. I think this is too bright. Yeah, so this is way too something on me. I don't know if it lays kind of green. Tara has green undertones, so I'm going to get this to her. And then I have the Too Faced Born This Way. I think this is like a setting powder. It's kind of light, so I don't use this stuff. Ethereal. Let me see. One of these is my color. I don't know. I'll try and see. I think this dries me. Anyway, they can have this. I can use this stuff. I had a couple of these. The Laura Mercier. Yeah, anyway. The goal is to get like these like containers <clears throat> basically out of here. Have one little zip bag for like eye, like your mascara, your liners, your whatever, right? Brow. And then one little bag for like face stuff like the blushes these are the only brushes i wear anyway <laughs> these three from abh right with the different I, I don't even need drawers like i don't need any of this all this will be donated like all this will be gone by the weekend we don't need drawers we just need a makeup bag because she doesn't wear makeup like this like this is for someone who ma who wears wears makeup now i do like all the foundations i like uh highlighter mascara brow blush but as for like having a bunch of palettes i don't think it's really necessary like this one right here this one will do me fine i'm gonna show you the two i'm keeping so morphe has one that is like a new palette that i might get uh, morphe has a new palette i might get but other than that I, i'm not yeah, I'm not tripping. This is um, Everfavor, but this is just the makeup like case thing, right? And then here's all the pretty colors. So I'm keeping this because I can use these for any time I want to just play with some makeup. The, of course, this is ABH and this is Nervina. I like ABH. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Okay, yeah, y'all probably did. And then this is some beautiful colors. So I'm probably get the one from Morphe that is the all matte. And that's it. Which, why would I pay for that, right? Because I have this one. I don't really like these mattes. These mattes are fine. I'll play with it today. This matte. Yeah, I don't want this one. Okay. So I need to find like a, this all matte nude palette. And that's it. And then I'll be fine. I won't need nothing else. Y'all, it is 7.30 p.m. The whole day is gone. Like, literally. I had to run an errand earlier, and it turned into a huge mess to coming home and watering my garden to realizing that something was off in my backyard and throwing dirt on the ground to now it's smell like I've been outside. Um, Not like stank sweaty but like i was out there a little bit like from watering so i feel like i got that little outside smell but i really want to go to gym but do i shower before i go to gym <laughs> these are my thoughts i put makeup on and everything you can't even tell allergies are just my sinuses are just my hair is just <laughs> mm -mm. yeah so today i just feel like today was just came and went it was a buzz like what happened like I did cook. I cooked the kids some enchiladas, chicken enchiladas. I did um, with like Spanish rice. And then I did for myself. I just ate the black eyed peas and greens. That was a throw from yesterday. And cantaloupe. I want to go to the gym because how am, I get, how am I going to get four days in this week if it's already Tuesday and I haven't been? And can I just go do a little something and then do the workout do, and sit in the massage chair and then get back up and go in the morning? I have a full day tomorrow. I have like stuff for these kids. Point minutes, the kids outside arguing right now over who's taking the trash out. Oh my God, Jesus. Um, Yeah, so, hmm. Let me get out of here. <laughs> This is like 
something I would do before I shave it. This is like me about to shave my hair. So let me just go to the gym. <laughs> look, look at this. Look at all this. See this thing. <laughs> What is going on? <sighs> okay. I'm in a massage chair. If there was a picture perfect, it would be us. I could be across the world and I would still have your trust. Don't even got a question if I'm the one giving up But you keep saying you've had enough So tell me where to go Cause I have nowhere to hide I just want you by my side But do I still have your heart? Do I still cross your mind? Have we grown up? frame on the side of my bed acting like i'm good but i can no longer pretend keeping myself busy trying to find something to do but every time i try somehow it brings me back to you so what do i do i don't know i don't know good morning is Wednesday and Wednesday morning <laughs> a whole another day yesterday was a bus I don't even know um I sat and chat with y'all just for a hot second last night I ended up getting dressed and I don't even know if I deleted that part though because I was all over the place yesterday I got dressed uh, to go out to do some stuff yesterday and in doing so I ended up um, just doing extra stuff that I just, yeah, messed off my whole day. And I'm going to the gym last night. I didn't, I thought I was going to go work out, but when I got there, I mean, I was yawning, I was sleepy, and I was like, mm -mm. I'm just going to do the massage chair, do the hydro bed, drink some water. I ended up eating some black eyed peas last night, and I went to bed. Like, I was just tired. I don't know. I was, I have a lot going on. I think it just drained me. So, today, I'm loading up my car this morning before I leave. I have a lot of stuff already in there. I still have a lot of stuff to put in my car. I'm just taking it. Yeah, one day at a time. One day at a time. So, today, I need to try to find like five or six items to, to get rid of. I'm mean, every day, just a few items a day. Until I, in the end of the week, I think I'll accumulate some stuff and then just drop it off or whatever. So I can get my, the things I have down 60%. I think I'm going for 60%. I was trying to think, like, what items would I allow myself to keep and collect and, um, yeah, and enjoy. So, I've come to the conclusion so far that I love books. Like, I almost bought a book yesterday, right? And it's not one of those things where one will come out and one will go in. Let me take a this. So, that's just is what it is. I love books. I have a lot of them on my, like, the download, the Kindle, the Hoopla, which is free, the Libby, which is free. I actually like holding books sometimes. And sometimes I would just go to the bookstore and just read. Yeah, or just pick up random books because I'm intrigued and I'm nosy and I like learning new things. So I like books. And I think that's something I've always had. Like if I literally had a tiny home or a smaller space, I could see me with a wall of books. I've always wanted this wall of books with the ladder, you know. And I want it from like floor to ceiling. And I want these 20 foot ceilings with this ladder. And I wanted all these books like that. I love that. So I will always have books. I will always have 
fragrance because I absolutely love fragrance perfumes and all the things and so far I know for a fact those are the two things I will always have always purchase guilt free everything else I'm kind of like mm, mm, that kind of thing so I'm just trying to figure me out and what brings me joy and just make sure that although I'm simplifying my life I'm not reading things that I love to be surrounded by so I love books and remember I told you one time I couldn't take all the colors or whatever because it was the bookshelves with the white books I don't know it just if I can find this real I'll put it here it was peaceful it was plants and it was books I gave away a lot of those plants by the way and then um yeah, I gave away a lot of those plants because people would always ask me for plants. I just never really purchased plants again, like to replace those plants. I still have a lot of plants everywhere in the house. Y'all know that. But um, I remember sitting, so the seating area, I knew someone who needed something, who was going without. So I donated the couch to someone. I felt like compelled to, right? And I did. Then I was like, I need to figure out a way to have a desk area where I can sit and get things done comfortably, right? As well as maybe have seating in the same space. But I told you I was going to probably go towards like two large beige chairs that like swivel or whatever. Um, yeah, whatever. So I ended up moving that couch from out there to here and it's perfect. It's a mini sofa. It's from at home. I don't think they still have it. I'll put it down below. It's kind of heavy for it to be this tiny. But, yeah, it's comfortable. I wish I had the thing that tilt on the wall for the TV. So when my son comes back to visit, I will get him to put the tilt bracket thing up for me. I put this one up. <laughs> I hang all these TVs, y'all. So that's why you can see the cords. I'm going to see if he can get the tilt thing. And then that way you can tilt down if I want to see TV in here. But... Like, it's perfect where I'm at my desk because I can see it over this big old monitor. But I'm thinking of doing the tilt thing. I don't really watch TV in here, though. I do like to have it on in the background, like, with, like, a scene with flowers or music or, like, a scenery with a fireplace or something while I'm working or doing things. But as for, like, uh, TV vlogs going on while I'm sitting here, I don't really have that going on. But that's pretty cool to, um, what time is it? Yeah. Hold on. I'm just making sure you're up. Okay. So, um, yeah, I like being surrounded by books. I like kitchen gadgets, but I find myself liking not just like the inexpensive little, little bitty things here and there. I want nice gadgets that will last a lifetime, like your KitchenAid, like your Nama juicer and blender like the KitchenAid, uh, like the mixer and the food processor and the Nespresso coffee machine. Like I'm finding myself enjoying the more quality, quality pieces, right? And yeah, I want to keep those things. But I, there is so much more I can get rid of. <laughs> so much more. So I'm staying in, within the home and I think by... In the May, I'll be in that garage getting rid of a lot of stuff. My son was like, sell all this stuff. Get rid of this stuff. So I'm about to upload this footage from my camera, my um, Insta360 from, I think I'm going to use this one from when I'm gardening and doing gardening vlogs or anything like that. I really like the wide angle on here. I like the speed of it. I just really like this little tiny situation. It was, you know, it was 500 bucks, kind of expensive for this little thing, but I love it for vacation, for vlogs. The pictures were just simply beautiful. I never even edited that video of um, me going on vacation because it was my girl's my birthday and it was a lot going on. And it was, yeah, you know, I don't share everything. That was that was a personal moment that felt amazing and. I'm trying to get another one in personal moments uh, soon, but I am. Um, I think I'm going. Go, I think I'm going to enjoy this journey of my life. I think I'm going to enjoy this. I don't think it's going to be stressful. I think at first I was kind of nervous about it, but 
reading so many comments from all these beautiful comments of yeah when i hit 50 i feel the same way i'm at the point where i don't want a lot of stuff either or i got and you know what it just felt good to read like other people saying things such as you know they just live a simple life and if they want it they want it, they buy it they don't they don't like there's no guilt and this is what it is so but anyway i'm up i'm about to go to the gym and try to do something I think I'm going to do arms today because I need to work on, see, she's starting to do something, but she still got this. I mean, yeah, I, I got to work on my arms and stop complaining about them and start back doing push-ups like I said I was going to do. I kind of got annoyed because I asked someone to um, call me out on my ish when I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing. And last night he was like, uh, how many push-ups you do today? How much weight you lost last week? How many days you work out last week? And I was like, yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow. Anyway, so today I'm going to go to the gym. I want to buy a hat. All these hats are old. They don't even have the data stripe no more. You see this? Yeah, I just want to get uh, like a hat or two. Maybe from Walmart. I want to go to TJ Maxx because I love the Adidas hat se selection they always have. And... Walmart sometimes will have all these like solid cutter hats for five dollars because I'm a hat girl when I go to the gym. I, I just cannot take this big. I, I can't take this to the gym. I don't know how y'all do it, but I can't take it to the gym. So I'm going to get some hats. I have to work on some stuff outside today. We have a lot of appointments today. What's today's date again? So I have a meeting tomorrow. I just have a lot like ready going on, but just hang out with me today. It's vlog is probably going to be kind of long. But, yeah. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Y'all rock. Y'all be like, here we are. <laughs> we are here. How you doing? Put a hey in the comment section. I'm just saying, say hey to me. I need to do that video real quick for the fragrance tray. I know it's still a few people who like to see that. The thing is, uh, the other day I didn't really have time to put like the links and all that to each fragrance. I just wanted to share, like randomly share the fragrances I was enjoying, like and loving for the last couple of years. They were my top 10. And a couple of people, I guess they kind of get annoyed when you don't link the fragrances. But I told you what they were. I just assume people would go look them up if they were interested. Like, I didn't think I had to, I don't know, I, I never think about linking the fragrances. I just normally just, I don't know, it's weird. I don't I don't think about it. I just, I'm just sharing um, what I like and love. I wasn't reviewing the fragrance like for a company or anything or doing a review. I was just sharing a love that I had. So, I'll try to do better and link the fragrances so you all don't be annoyed. Okay? Okay. So, let me go ahead and get started on editing this, at least get started, because then go up today, and I need to do that video real quick for the fragrance, which I'm probably not going to do, because this is what I look like, and I'm not going to put makeup on or anything to go to the gym, so maybe we'll do that together later, and I got to do a fragrance tray for the week. I got to get those fragrances off that um, I'm not wearing right now. Anyway, <laughs> I use this energy cbd rollerball today and it's um it smells like orange and zest and cinnamon and peppermint like it smells like everything like and yeah every time i move i smell it it's definitely a mood enhancer and i definitely feel it it's crazy so let me get started y'all Wait a minute. That is sweet. Three grams of sugar, two milligrams of sodium. Why is it so sweet? Orange A, sparkling orange A. No added sugar, no artificial flavors, natural flavors, stevia extract. Woo! I can't drink that. Yeah, this is peach guava sparkling water, no sugar, no sweetener. I can't 
This I can't do. It's too sweet. I don't do like sweet drinks anyway, and that's just juice, so <laughs> yeah, put it out. That's 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 nasty. If there was a picture perfect, it would be us. I could be across the world and I would still have your trust. Don't even got a question if I'm the one giving up. But you keep saying you've had enough. So tell me where to go, cause I have nowhere to hide. I just want you by my side. But do I still have your heart? Do I still cross your mind? Have we grown apart? Should we? I'm home and I'm hungry y'all so I'm about to um, roast some veggies I'm actually about to chop these up and throw them in the air fryer all right so I have a bunch of like stuff from the garden basically except for this and this garlic but most of this is just like some stuff I just picked from the garden and I'm basically just gonna roast a bunch of veggies a little bit of of I think I have avocado. Oh, I have avocado oil. Uh, a little bit of sea salt. That's it. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put them on some like street tacos and just eat like four street tacos. They're just a little tiny like white corn tortilla tacos. I'll show them to you in a minute. But anyway, honey, let's get into this workout. So what I did today was I went to Planet Fitness instead of fitness connection today and i did a uh, cardio which was the um what was it the stair climber for 20 minutes and then from there i did this row machine it's not really a row machine it's like a foot press and you can do your arms at the same time i don't know what's called i'll put the picture over here i did that for 10 minutes they gave me like 30 minutes cardio right from there i started doing arms so each machine, uh, like the first machine, I did it on 50 weight. And then the pull downs, like I can do pull downs on 70, 75, 80, but everything else I tend to do on 50 weight and just increase, increase reps. Because I'm trying to burn in these arms, oh, honey. That's it. So we're just going to finish making this real quick. I'm actually going to make me a coffee. I want an iced coffee. So I picked up some protein. So I picked up some protein, like the cold proteins or whatever. They're not high in calories, but I haven't eaten a day except for the English muffin. And I think it's the, I forget which one it is. Whole wheat ones. Y'all don't really eat bread, but I've been having a taste for bread. And it's like 120 calories for one. Got a couple, couple carbs up in there, but child, I done burnt that off in the gym already. So, yeah. Should roast this while I bathe. Okay. Here's the sea salt. Yes, girl. All this, is, all this, I'm gonna eat with little bitty mini tortillas. <laughs> I be eating, child. I be eating. It's crazy because I actually had a black coffee this morning, but I have a taste for it, and so it is what it is. Let me clean this out. I always put this in my banana water, like for my garden. <laughs> we keep this, uh, uh, we call it the grounds. All right, so let's get some of this in here. And then we're going to just make us a quick iced coffee. Save a few coins. I told y'all, I'm not, well, I did stop one day and buy some coffee, y'all. Believe it or not. It was just one of those days. And... The coffee was pretty good. I think it's, I don't know if it's PJ's. I forget the name of the place. Uh, Brothers. It was Brothers or something like that. I, I went to try this spot I've never uh, been to before, basically. It was all right. It was all right. Is that enough water for two shots? That's enough water. All right. Could have just made a quick smoothie, but I just didn't feel like it, so I just stopped and got the um own 
this one right here it is dairy free vegan and it's still protein so it'll help with muscle repair from what i just said it is five net carbs three grams of fiber 20 grams of protein i think this one has quite a bit of yeah 180 calories but it has all kind of stuff like seaweed and i don't know all kind of stuff in here a pea protein and whatever so that's what i'm having today with my meal <laughs> away from sugar okay I don't think all of it's gonna fit but I have half now half tomorrow maybe it'll be like a you know because the coffee is not the problem it's no calories it's nothing it's just no benefit you know what I'm saying So this is vanilla flavor. <clears throat> it's thick like cream too. Wow. I really need to learn. I need to learn how to make the white corn tortillas. I know how to make the flour ones. Of course, <laughs> those are ones that's not good for you. I'm just going to, it's probably like a teaspoon of oil to be honest. And it's the avocado oil since we're watching what we're eating. I love to season, look at this. I'm not the only one who loves this, but anyway, my tortillas. So I'm going to sprinkle this like this. Girl, this is what we do. Everybody in the house loves these. They make their own though. They like them with mushrooms and I could just have the, the veggies. It doesn't bother me just to have the veggies and some avocado. So these are the Guerrero 25 calorie tortillas. And we're going to eat four of these. One, two, three, four. I would like to eat six, but we're going to eat four. These are 25 calories each. And for a serving, for a serving of four is 90 calories, actually. And it is... 19 grams of carbs. I don't know for someone who's like trying to, you know, read all that. Oh, these babies thin too. They thin. God, this smells so good. Goodness, my mouth is watering. Let me tell you, if I did the OMAD diet, you know, that one meal a day thing, y'all have no idea. I would just go ham on, like, it would either be stir fry or some type of, like, veggie taco situation. Like, I just love this stuff. Like, I don't even know how people don't eat this stuff. Like, a bunch of veggie, veggies roasted like this. I'm just like, oh my God. My mouth watering, it, it smells good, it looks good, it tastes good, like, good lord. Yeah, I just would lose it. I would just be eating this all day. Well, actually, to be honest, once the garden starts flourishing um, and more food is able to be uh, picked or whatever, harvested, I'm going to be eating like this. <laughs> Y'all know that. 
I'm going to go ham. So, the, the thing that's fat in here is the avocado, which is a good healthy fat. I'm putting healthy fats back into my body. And I have a really small avocado and like a, the other one's small, but this one's a little bit smaller. That's what we're eating though. That's what we're eating. Let's put this in the middle like this. This is cilantro. Probably should squeeze lime. This is the wrong channel, huh? So be doing this on the other channel. Uh, Y'all sitting in over there. Alright, so here is my post-workout meal. So I don't even know how many calories this is. It's not a lot. And my, of course, this is still like like up to here left of the protein. But we're gonna we're gonna get that down. Okay. Cheese, sour cream, whatever you do. I don't do that. We already know that. Um, but these tacos, honey, are about to get eaten. Ooh, yes. Alright, so tonight I'll probably have like a salad. I'm thinking. I don't know. Not not too much like food. Not like this. Um, um yeah. Oh my god. First of all, that coffee's strong. <laughs> and um, this is okay. I don't know how sweet this is because this coffee's strong, but it doesn't taste like I have like a, it, it tastes like I have a thick creamer <clears throat> that's not so sweet. A vanilla, yeah. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Tastes like I have a thick creamer in here. Like a heavy, like the heavy whipping cream, thick creamer. That's vanilla. But I can also taste it as a protein shake. It, it doesn't taste like a creamer though, but I can dig it. Or I can dig it. Child. Not bad, but I don't like the aftertaste. So, <clears throat> I'm going to have to find me another vegan protein for like after workouts. I'm so full, I can't drink it anyway. But after workout, vegan protein recovery type of shake, probably just make a shake. But I knew if I made a smoothie, like a shake, I wasn't going to want to eat any food. <laughs> it's hard for me to eat afterwards. And since I hadn't had a meal, I was trying to eat a meal. And then, you know, so I would be like full. I am so full. And it's going to be on me for a while. But I need to, uh, what time is it? It's one thirty-seven. So I still have time to go shower, do what I need to do. And then get the girls to their appointments and everything they need to do. I think it's like 3.34. I don't know. Maybe I don't. <laughs> I don't have time. I need to wash my hair. I was trying to hold on to the weekend. Excuse me. Let me find something to do. I'm supposed to be finding somebody to do tattoos too. I want this one done. Like this one. She'll just go to the same person. She just expects it. But it's just you and her. When you book the appointment, no one else is in there. I don't want to say celebrity tattoos. Just, you know, known people with coins. Okay, I'll say that. And, like, you know, basketball players, football players, baseball players. <laughs> she does those people. I don't even know how I got hooked up with her. But anyway, she's expensive. So, I would like to get something like this. Why do I want the same on both sides? I feel like I'm uneven. Like, I feel like it should be one just like this. Girl, you dark on one side to the other. Mm. All right, I'm full. This is look at this pad. This is why I like shaper mint. This is why I like shaper mint. Shaper mint don't do this. Shaper mint don't have pads <laughs> moving around or being stuff. Okay. All right, let's go. It's babe. I'll pick up with y'all later. I'm gonna watch this video. I'm looking for those glasses that uh, Queen Latifah had on. I know I showed it to y'all. 
I don't even know if I showed it to y'all. That might have been something that got cut out of the video the other day. But I found some Bottega glasses that are similar. They $500. So I need to go on Amazon to find a dude. <laughs> I want those glasses. I need those glasses. I found the triangle ones like Bottega. But I need the more that whatever that is she has. I need that. I need those for like brunch when you're hanging out with your friends outside or you're outside and you want to still make eye contact, but you want to wear sunglasses. You know what I'm saying? Because it's sunny outside. Because when you go out, you're dating or hanging out or brunching, you need to be able to see each other and make eye contact. So I can't wear my darkies. And the only, only other ones is, yeah, I, my, they're over the top. I just need some simple, simple glasses. Like, they're over the top. I was doing too much. Yeah, one or two pair. One or two pair. See you in a minute.